or Hughes. Hey guys, Matt Sloan from Skyfire Consulting here. We are out in the middle of a field near Jacksonville, Florida with Art Hughes from Drone Aviation Corp. How you doing, guys? Uh, we've been working with Drone Aviation Corp for a couple of years now uh, from your original Tether products. Yeah. Now we're looking at the Fuse system, which is a Tether product for the Matrice 200 or the Inspire 2. Uh, it got set up and in the air in, what, 30 seconds? Yeah, with us talking about 30 seconds. Yeah. So put the drone on the, uh, you basically pop the, Pop the tether unit into the uh, battery bay on the Inspire 2, which is what we have up now. Turn it on, plug it into a Honda generator over there. You got your cable spooling unit here. And now the drone's up in the air. And guess what? We don't ever have to bring it down if we don't want to, because we're never going to run out of battery. So, Mark, you want to tell us a little bit about the system and yeah. just kind of walk us through it? Yeah, sure. Uh, this, I, I, like Matt said, this is the uh, fuse system. It's for the Inspire 2 or the M200 class UAS from EKI basically replaces the second battery that they've got on the vehicle with our power pack. So it runs a high voltage tether up to the vehicle and then what you're running off of is your generator. So as long as you fill it up, you've got let's say eight, ten hours of gas in your generator, you can fly for eight or ten hours without coming down. So if you get on scene, your first responder, fire situation, any situation where you need eyes in the sky for more than ten minutes where a battery pack is going to drive you nuts, you're landing at the worst possible time, not to mention you've got to manage it, make sure you've got a full arsenal of batteries charged. This is the system that takes care of that for you. So what happens if the, uh, if the generator goes off? Yeah, the way we designed the power system into this for both the Inspire 2 and the M200 is we only replace one of the DJI batteries. So the second DJI battery stays on board and we will always revert to that battery in the event of any ground power interruption. So what happens to us all the time, we forget to fill the generator up. This generator kicks off, the power side of the ground system shuts down, the vehicle senses that and in about a minute and a half, It'll throw uh, the standard DJI low battery warning and the vehicle will land itself. So there's no difference there. So show me how the tether system works. Yeah, sure. Uh, it, it, it's a lot going on inside to make it very simple for the user. So all you do is the tether normally is stowed on the front right here. You can see our tether exit down here. You simply unclip it from the case when you're starting up. Put your vehicle about 10 feet away from the winch box. Clip it into the back of the vehicle. There's a little uh, tension relief hook on the, on the power pack. And plug our power pack in. Start it up, press two power buttons, and you take off and fly like your normal DJI experience. You use the same DJI, DJI app. There's no firmware changes. There's no permanent vehicle modifications. So if you need to have both a free-flying uh, DJI product as well as a tether kit, you can use the same vehicle. So you can fly tethered for two hours. Let's say now you need to follow something or go check out something farther away than a tether system will allow you. Land, disconnect our power pack, throw the standard DJI battery in the other bay, and immediately take off, and now you're free flying like you've been doing before. So what's in, can you show us what's in the yeah, case? Yeah, sure. So this is our attention control system. There's a whole lot going on, like I said, to make sure that you've got plenty of power on board for all your DJI vehicles and their payloads, and also to make sure that since you essentially attach a leash to your vehicle, the last thing you want to do is load up your uh, Inspire 2 or M200 in the air by pulling on it like a dog leash. So our system is all tension control. So you can see with that small amount of force on the vehicle, even as much as wind hitting the cross section of the tether, as soon as we see that, we don't pull on your vehicle. We release more tether out. You can see it'll spool out. And then as soon as that situation and you've got some slack in the tether now, let's say the wind comps down, now we reel it back in so you never have tether sitting on the ground. That's a huge risk if you had a tethered vehicle and you're spooling tether out manually. Now you've got an active si shooter situation, uh, a busy emergency responding uh, scene. Last thing you want to do is be spooling anything on the ground that people are going to be tripping over. So this is a very compact self-contained unit that in a matter of minutes gets you a tethered aerial platform. So I just want to point out for the record that we've been out here flying this thing now for about, what, 25 minutes? Yeah. And uh, I haven't seen a, heard a battery warning or anything beep or whatever, so it's you just put it up and keep it up. Yep. So uh, you said, uh, tell me the prices again for this and the M200. Thing. Yeah, the Inspire 2 kit uh, is $10,000 MSRP, and the M200 is a, a, essentially an identical solution, just with more power for the larger M200 vehicle and its larger payloads, and that's $12,000. So very economical to have a fleet of these outfitted for any department. That's awesome. So $10,000 for the Inspire 2 unit, $12,000 for the, uh, the M200 yep. unit. Um, you can give us a call at Skyfire or give these guys a call at Drone Aviation Corp if you're interested. 
and uh, we'll be posting a whole bunch more uh, information about the system. Uh, man, we're really excited about this yeah, thing. It's so way. cool to see it come together. Appreciate so. you guys getting out here today. Thanks to for having us. And uh, heat. Yeah, I was going to say, let's get back inside where it's cool. Although we can leave the drone out here running for another couple yeah, of hours. We'll, we'll go get some drinks. <laughs> Sounds good. Have a good one, guys.